Hello, and welcome to the One World Accuracy System, OASIS. We have created a set of videos which will guide you through the OASIS functionality. In this video, I will guide you through the result submission process for programs that do not use assays. For assistance with submitting results for a program that uses assays, please see our video, Result Submission for Programs Using Assays. Once you have logged in to your OASIS account, Click on the test event dashboard icon. Click on the red icon for the subscription in the currently open test event that you wish to submit results for. This will bring about another page with multiple tabs. The first tab is for registration and should be blue as this should have been completed before the test event opened. If the registration tab is red, you will not be able to proceed to submit results until the registration is completed. For assistance on completing your registration, please see our support video, Registration Process. Under the Registration tab, make sure all units, instrument, and reagent information is correct. For assistance on modifying completed registration information, please see our support video, Modifying Registration. Click on the second tab, Sample Conditions. Answer the mandatory questions marked with an asterisk and click on the calendar icon to enter the date when you received your samples. Once the mandatory questions have been answered, the Sample Conditions tab turns blue. For some programs, a third tab, Background Information, is used. If this tab appears for the program, click on Background Information and enter results for all mandatory questions. You are now ready to submit your results, so go ahead and click on the Results tab. Tick the box to authorize release of your evaluation to an accrediting body if applicable. The Hide Show registration icon allows you to hide or show the reagent columns and the calibrator columns. The Result Preferences icon allows you to update your decimal and digit grouping separator preferences. Enter the results for each analyte and sample by directly typing in the respective cells for quantitatively reported analytes. Or select the correct response from the drop-down menu for qualitatively reported analytes. Results are submitted by instrument and are saved as soon as you leave a cell. A red sample icon indicates that not all mandatory results have been entered. Therefore, once they are added, the sample icon turns blue. The instrument name turns blue when all mandatory results have been entered for that instrument. The progress of result submission for an instrument is shown as a percentage next to the instrument name. If you are unable to get a result for a particular analyte, click on the yellow exclamation mark to select an analytical problem code. If there are more than 20 analytes for an instrument, they will be grouped in sets of 20. Click on the Next Show Analytes group to continue submitting results. Click on Next Instrument once you are finished entering the results for the current instrument. You may also change the width of a column by clicking and dragging the column with your mouse. After all mandatory results have been submitted, the results tab will turn blue. You may enter the name of the individual who tested the samples and the individual who oversaw the testing process. Please note that you may click on the exit icon at any time and continue submitting results later on. Exiting the results page will bring you back to the test event dashboard, where you can monitor which program results have not yet been submitted. Upon clicking on the exit icon, a pop-up window will warn you if results are still missing for some mandatory analytes. Please remember to always submit your results before the published results deadline. For additional assistance, we invite you to view our other support videos in our support center. Thank you for watching and we hope that you found this video helpful. We appreciate any feedback you may have on our videos. Please email us at support at oneworldaccuracy.com.